my god. Now this is the last person I expected to, you know, you get this news and sometimes there's some celebs, you know, you're like, well, he's up in age, or, you know, I heard he was sick, or, but this is like one of these bodybuilder, well, even the bodybuilders, when you hear about them going, like, with everything going on today, and, you know, if you watch enough bodybuilding news, and you know how everyone views certain situations involving what they take, and other things going on that people are taking, Kind of, it makes sense, so you actually expect to hear it. But it's like one of those, it's just very surprising. I, the hell was it? Now, I know he was a thick barrel, you know, built dude. So, you never know, it could be heart, it could be, you know, I mean, who knows what he was going through in his life. I don't know, you know, but I'm about to read this story. But this really, this like shocked me. I was like, wait, what? Like, when I saw it, I was like, wait, what? This is a guy that um, I think had massive potential. I think they wasted his potential when I was watching. And we all know, we all know they wasted his potential um, in that era that I was watching. You know, him and his family would come out and all that stuff and the, the walk and all that stuff he would do. And then, you know, I heard about this whole dark children's show Pee Wee Playhouse parody type thing he was doing The Fiend and all this stuff and like everybody was like yo now this yo you will understand you gotta watch it but by that time I had no no yearning to come back I tried watching it I tried maybe I'll give a reaction to that maybe I'll do a reaction if I, I'm trying, you know, but I need to find out what happened to him. But maybe I'll do a reaction to it just to see what everybody was talking about. To maybe see, like, okay, yeah, this amount of talent here. Then, boom, he came back with this and was like, bow. Oh, I see what the fans were talking about. You know what I mean? But let's, it says here, WWE superstar Bray Wyatt has, a tra has tragically died at the age of 36. Good. Just received a call from WWE Hall of Famer Mike Rotondo, who informed us of the tragic news that our WWE family member for life, Wyndham Rotunda, also known as Bray Wyatt, unexpectedly passed away today. Our thoughts are with his family, and we ask that everyone respect their privacy at this time. They always say that. Um, Wyatt joined, but the problem is. They always say that when they don't tell us what happened. You know what I mean? They know the fans want to know. You know what I'm saying? Um, Wyatt joined WWE's main roster in 2010. Da, 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 da. Um, he came from a big line of wrestlers. Mike Rotunda, I remember that name. Blackjack uh, Mulligan, I didn't know that. And Barry and Kendall Wyndham, didn't know that either. Um... Bray was part of a bunch of big matches throughout his career. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, they're not telling us what happened. Um, uh, let me see here. Did you expect, uh, oh, he was an elephant athlete. Even won the state wrestling championship. Um, WWE Universe is crushed by the news. The Rock wrote, I'm heartbroken over this news of Bray passing. Always had tremendous respect and love for him and the Rotunda family. Loved his presence, promos, in-ring work, and his connection to the WWE Universe. Johnson continued, very unique, cool, rare character. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is hard to create in our crazy world of pro wrestling. Still processing losing the GOAT, Terry Funk, yesterday. And now, Bray today. I didn't know Terry Funk went to. Um, my love, light, strength, and mana go to the Rotunda family and Funk family during uh, this tough, heartbreaking time. Man. Ric Flair also shared his thoughts on Awful News. When uh, your great friend and... When your great friend and someone... Your son's age dies within two days. 
it's really makes me reflect and think about life. Don't take any second for granted. Rest in peace, Terry Funk and Bray Wyatt. You know, uh, I usually get tagged on stuff when a wrestler passes away, even other celebrities. I didn't know about Funk. I'm surprised none of y'all tagged me. Uh, but maybe y'all sent me something up else play, other you know, places because I, I get so much mail every day that, you know, I can't get to it all. Alexa Bliss weighs, weighed in as well. Uh, I'm just in shock, extremely heartbroken, and at a loss for words. What I can say is um, what an amazing human being Wyndham is, amazing friend, and one of the most creative minds to ever walk this earth. Wyndham, you've brought so much joy and happiness to everyone around you. Is going to take some time to really process this. Sending my love to your family. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. Well, I didn't know, but, you know, it's never easy for a family to lose a family member. So I do send, send my condolences out to the family and the whole wrestling period universe. It's everything that exists out there because uh, they lost a great performer today. Post your comments down below and let me know what y'all think about the situation. I will talk to y'all later. Rest in peace.